crocodile, cold-blooded killer, underwater ambush expert, the one everyone must be wary of. In the sultry atmosphere of the swamp, an ancient creature emerges from the water. The crocodile, a symbol of strength, patience, and tireless teeth. With its natural armor and a bite strong enough to end the careers of many prey, it leisurely enters the territory of other species, as if no one dares to stand in its way. Until it meets the biggest mouth in the solar system, Pac-Man the Frog. One is a cold-blooded killer, the other is a lump of meat that swallows anything that moves. The crocodile may be brave, but the frog has a big mouth. And in this world, a big mouth at the right time can save lives. The seemingly unequal encounter turns out to be a close match. The crocodile stalks its prey but becomes its prey. The frog doesn't think. It has only one principle in life. Whatever fits in its mouth, it plays with, regardless of its origin. One bite, no warning, no need to count to three. In the wild, snakes are masters of ambush. With their flexible bodies and ability to move silently, they can approach their prey without anyone noticing. Today, the target is two fat young frogs, leisurely enjoying life, unaware that their fate is about to change. The snake approaches, inch by inch, its eyes never leaving its prey. It is the gaze of someone who has had lunch with looks. Things didn't go as planned for this snake. The snake thought it was the king of predators, but unexpectedly, a mouth as big as an abyss appeared. The father frog, a tough giant, never letting anyone touch his child. Snap. The whole snake was caught in the mouth full of tongues and sharp teeth. The snake didn't even understand what was happening. It had already become dinner for the father frog. There was no chance to fight back. It was like, save my child, I'll eat the snake first. If I were the snake, I would have run away from the start. Leaf Lizard, super fast, super agile. If you think it can avoid danger, you haven't seen the speed and giant mouth of Pac-Man Frog. This lizard can run like the wind, move without a sound. It is the top of the top in the predatory world. But, while it is showing off its running skills, a giant mouth is ready to wait for it.
immediately. The lizard didn't understand what was happening, only that it was swallowed whole in a flash. Don't be too happy, lizard. Running fast doesn't mean you'll escape. And Pac-Man didn't need to run, because his mouth was enough to clean up everything. It forgot the survival rule. Don't run in a straight line, because Pac-Man just stands there waiting. No need to chase, no need to make an effort. The frog waits at the right angle, at the right moment. Boom, a thunderous shot. The lizard disappears into the frog's belly like a downloaded file that can't remember where it was saved. mouse, the athlete of the rodent world. It runs fast, dodges quickly, and survives thanks to its ability to disappear in a split second. But no matter how fast it is, it cannot win against a decisive and emotionless mouse. But no one can surpass Hackman's burning mouth. The bite came faster than the deadline. The mouse didn't have time to turn around. It disappeared, leaving only the regretful echo of squeak. The frog didn't need to run after it. It just needed to stand and wait like the cold-faced cashier. Please get in your bag. A flash, a swallow, and the mouse was officially freed from the burden. From the Greek desert, the Black Scorpion Warriors come, like an army of Avengers cosplayers with multiple pincers. They think they're cool. They think their venom is invincible. But then they meet the mouth that knows no bounds. Frogs swooped in like walking trash cans, eating everything, no need to choose. The pincers broke, the venom fell, and the army disintegrated like a group chat at the end of a drama. Each one carried venom that could make many creatures roll around and act out a scene of misery. But to the Pac-Man frog, those raised pincers were just appetizers with legs. One bite, two bites. The pincers fell like autumn leaves. The scorpions disintegrated, no formation left, only protein meat mixed with saliva. From a land no one remembers its name, a giant centipede slithers out with the confidence of a creature with too many legs. It was supposed to be a nightmare, but it turned out to be...
It was the main dish today. The frog looked at it like people look at sushi crawling to its mouth. A bite, a writhing scene, and then silence. Many legs, but unfortunately the head went into the mouth first. Open mouth waiting for the right moment. Once the centipede stuck its head into the danger zone, the frog closed its mouth like it was caught in a trap. No way out. No chance to retreat. Many legs do not mean escape. An expert in slipping underwater with a slimy body and amazing escape skills. It is every fisherman's nightmare because it escapes wherever it catches. People call it the ghost of the river. But today, it didn't meet the fisherman. It met Pac-Man the Frog. Someone who is not afraid of slimy things, not afraid of slippery things, and especially doesn't know how to let go when he swallows. The loach wriggled, slid like soap. But all the slippery things became meaningless when the opponent had a mouth like a black hole in the universe. And so, the loach became a sushi dish that didn't need ginger, didn't need soy sauce, only needed frog saliva. A snake over one meter long, ten times the length of the frog, slithered forward with the confidence of a superior. In the animal world, length is often proportional to muscle. As big as a high voltage power cord, head held high, thinking he was the real boss. looked at it without fear. He just thought, today I'm a little hungry, let's eat hot pot with rope. And so, without thinking, without hesitation, opened his mouth, bit, and pulled. The snake wriggled, strained its body to resist. But the frog's mouth did not know how to let go. The stick hit its own back, or more precisely, the snake crawled into the frog's belly behind the scenes. The bite surprised the snake. It wriggled, it struggled, but the frog only tightened its grip, like a wallet squeezing the last month's debt. Finally, the one meter long creature disappeared into a flabby belly only the size of an orange. The lesson here is, don't underestimate the small, especially when its mouth opens endlessly. Thank <laughs> you.